So I want to move to Asheville, but I have no idea what school to send my kid to. Hi, I'm Beth Shadler with Tried and True Realty in Asheville, and welcome to Living in Asheville, where we explore what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep, play in Asheville, North Carolina. Hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so that you can be alerted every time we make new videos for you. One of the most asked questions I get when people are considering moving to Asheville is, tell me about the schools. There's so many to choose from and I don't know where to begin. Well, I can let you in on one little secret. If you're considering daycare, you begin when you take that little pregnancy test and you're alerted that you are expecting a baby because you need to go ahead and get on daycare's websites and go ahead and get on the wait list. I might be exaggerating a little bit, but sometimes wait lists in Asheville can be up to two years. So if you know that you need to go back to work or that you're needing daycare, go ahead and sign up on those wait lists. Now there's lots of options for daycares in Asheville from half day daycares to full day. So half day might look like an art daycare thing where they do clay or different art programs every day, or there's a lot of churches that also have options for daycare. They could be a little bit less expensive as well. We did that with our youngest and it worked really well because we found a church nearby and the people that we met there, even though it wasn't our church, were amazing and there was a wonderful sense of community and we got involved even though it wasn't our church. And then there are full day options like Werner that has a location in East and West. They do experimental learning. They are absolutely wonderful people. There's also the JCC, which is the Jewish Community Center. You do not have to be Jewish to uh, go there or belong to the community and it's near downtown and it's a wonderful option as well. And then there are Montessori schools everywhere. So figure out where you're gonna live and then kind of go from there to see which one might align with your family perfectly. Each of these options has a possibility to visit and speak with the staff, so I encourage you to do that. Now, Asheville is a city, so when considering different school districts, there's a lot to talk about, and some of it I can't really advise on. I can't say if anything's good or bad or whatnot, but I can direct you to other sources of information that might give you more of what you're looking for specifically for your family. And those might be something like Spanish immersion or different languages or emphasis or areas, things like that. One thing that's unique to Asheville area, the city, is that we have charter schools. Now, our daughter is at a charter school, and when I looked at putting her in the school system here, it was one of my top choices. Just because it's a little bit different infrastructure, they're not necessarily teaching to pass a test, but in the same regard, it is not fully funded by the state. It is only 75% funded. And that is for the educational part, not the infrastructure part. So with charter schools here, because it is experimental, you'll have different learning subjects, but you won't find things like school buses or cafeterias, provided school lunches. There is a service that you can pay a little bit extra for, but it's a little different paradigm than what we normally think of with public schools. Now, it doesn't cost anything out of pocket, but it's also not that easy to get into. Charter schools operate by a lottery system. So that means there's a registration period where you type in your child's information and you go ahead and you get on that list. And then they'll have one day in which they roll the big thing and they pick out names for the lottery of who gets in or not. The easiest time to get in, of course, will be kindergarten because there's up to 40 slots depending on the school, so you have a greater chance. The other chance that you have is if there's a sibling already enrolled in the school, you get first right of refusal to send the next sibling. Charter schools are a wonderful way to experiment with learning styles. Each one has a different emphasis. Evergreen really has a focus on outdoors and community and art space, focuses on music and the arts. They're all a little different in different parts of town and beneficial in their own ways. Most of the charter schools go from kindergarten up to eighth grade, so once you're in, you're in, which is a good thing. There are elementary schools scattered throughout the districts and it, that are probably not all that different than what you're used to where you live. In some places, there's even two elementary schools that service, a, that service the same area. And they all have different offerings. So if you want more information on that, I can try to help you with elementary schools. I have an interactive PDF I would be glad to share with you. Just shoot me an email and I'll let you have that. High schools as well, 
You'll need to look up the different ratings on your own through their websites, such as greatratings.com or niche.com. Check that out on your own. They're all different and it has to be what you need for your family, not necessarily what I think is good or bad. So check it out on your own. One other thing you might consider is private schools. We have a few of those as well, like Rainbow that families like in West Asheville, or there is the Hangar Hall School, which is a unique experience near Montford. There's also Carolina Day School or the Asheville School. Again, all having different offerings, check out their websites and see what might fit with your family and with affordability's sake as well. So Buncombe County Schools are divided up into six different regions. We have Inca, Irwin, North Buncombe, uh, Owen, Reynolds, and Robertson. You can find more information on the website buncombeschools.org. We'll put some links down below as well. There's a lot to consider when you're thinking about school systems for your kids, and I understand it's an important decision and might influence where you live in Asheville. So feel free to reach out. We're happy to explore different options for you. We help people every day move to Asheville and answer those questions when thinking about doing so. So feel free to reach out at any point, send us a text, an email, a phone call, whatever your pleasure, and hit that subscribe button and click that little bell. And so then you'll be alerted every time new information comes out that you're probably already interested in. Until then, ciao for now.